I'm just trying to sit down and chillax in my brain because I have obviously not posted any videos in January because I've been struggling to figure out how to make this video. I knew I wanted the first video of the year to be something about my intentions and, and like New Year's resolutions but I couldn't figure out how to make it and I couldn't quite figure out what my intentions and resolutions were this year. I have filmed and edited and refilmed and edited only twice but still I've made two videos that I'm not gonna post because I didn't like how they turned out obviously I didn't post anything in January so I think I'm gonna do a quick recap of January what I did in January how many times can I say January and then I think we're gonna move on to what my intentions are for this year I keep saying intentions because I don't think New Year's resolutions is the right word for me frankly I'm not doing that <laughs> my main motto this year is to just chill in here not here I chill way too much physically I, I watch way too much TV and just chill but I need to chill in here okay and just do more fun things and do more things without thinking. First I'll do the general recap, then we'll talk about what my ideas and intentions are and what am I going to do this year that actually is going to work because every year I set goals and then I forget about them. So this year what are we going to do differently? We'll talk about that later. First I want to do a quick recap of January. In my head I thought I didn't do anything in January and then I looked through my phone and realized that I did actually survive January so let's quickly recap that. So the last video that I posted was the last day of Vlogmas. We were in Sweden with my family, had a lovely, lovely time. We were outside in the snow, we were going sledding, and then it was time to go home. We had some problems with Jesse's passport, but I don't even feel like mentioning it. I just cannot be bothered to go into that. So blah, blah, blah. We didn't do anything for New Year's. We just stayed home and watched the fireworks from the window. And then it's January. So about four days into January, I finally went for my pap smear. Ladies, do your pap smears, it's very important. But anyway, after that appointment, I went to Ikea. I went to Ikea on a Thursday at nine o'clock in the morning. Let me tell you, I've had revelations. Three things. I went to Ikea because I was just gonna pop in and get some candles. While I was walking past, I realized they have free wood outside of Ikea. Things that haven't been bought that they just can't sell. They have free wood. Now, obviously I don't really do DIY and stuff like that, but maybe in the future I will need some free wood. And now I know that you can go to Ikea and get free wood. Revelation number one. Number two, they have breakfast. Really cheap breakfast. I did not know this and now I do. Revelation number three, if you're gonna go to Ikea, go to Ikea on a Thursday at nine o'clock in the morning. Basically, I came into Ikea, walked around, and I was like, wow, this is empty, there's no one here. Got back to where the restaurant is and realized the restaurant is open for breakfast, but the second part of Ikea was not open yet. So I had to sit down. I was basically forced to sit down and eat a chocolate muffin before I could keep going through the rest of Ikea to buy candles. If you've watched my channel before, you know that when I've gone to Ikea, it is... We had a fun time at Ikea. There's only so much you can take. And I don't really remember how my other Ikea vlogs have been, but I feel like they usually conclude in the same way, that people are so annoying. It's not been my favorite, to say the least. It's always so many people there. And even though I love Ikea, I just get so drained by the people there. So I probably had the best Ikea trip of my life on that random Thursday in January. That's why it was worth mentioning. Then I filmed and edited what was going to be the first video of the year. I hated it. So then I refilmed it and edited that one and I hated that one too. So that's when I decided to take January off from YouTube. Jesse and I have started to meal prep so that we can eat better during the week. So we still do our weekly grocery shops. And there was one day this January that we went and it was the most gorgeous sky. It was just pink. And then the next day it snowed. I also had a good friend come to London to visit me. She came to visit her boyfriend and me. And uh, the only picture I got was of a magnet that she bought. So, I'm a great friend. And then Jessie went to Bangkok on a business trip and I had to survive on my own for five days. So I walked into the station, said goodbye, and then I was alone. 
I basically survived by living on Greek salads and Swedish pancakes. I watched loads of TV and films, some which made me cry. I also unintentionally didn't speak for four days, <laughs> which <laughs> sounds... It just doesn't sound real. But I basically said goodbye to Jesse on Monday morning. And then on Thursday evening, I went downstairs to concierge to pick up a package. And because of my unintentional vocal rest, I basically started coughing in the concierge lady's face while I was trying to say which apartment I was picking up a package for. Yeah. I also went for my first run in several months. I did really well, a bit too well, because for the next three days, I was basically walking like this. <laughs> I wish that was a joke, but it's not. My hips were very stiff. I think that pretty much sums up my January. I did much more than I thought, much more than I remember. I probably did a lot more, but obviously I wasn't thinking about taking pictures of things I was doing. I actually don't take a lot of pictures on my phone. Maybe this could be a reoccurring thing, because this could be quite fun to document. Maybe not monthly, but like quarterly recaps. So I want to do quarterly check-ins with myself anyway. Maybe I'll just make a video of my quarterly check-ins and then also recap what I've done those months. There you go. That's at least three more videos that you can look forward to. So the recap is done. What's this year gonna look like for me? So I told you in the beginning that I'm not really doing resolutions. I maybe am doing like intentions. I've had the same kind of goals for years. It's always YouTube, acting, and personal betterification. Betterification. I basically always just want to improve myself. So those are always the three main goals that I have, at least in the past few years. So every year I sit down, I write goals. I made a video last year about the goals for 2023 and you can see the new year's energy, passion that I had. But I can tell you now, out of all of the goals I had, I achieved one. It was a great goal to achieve. It was an acting related goal. I got on spotlight that means anything for any of you acting related people but other than that I did not achieve any goals and every year that disappoints me so I'm trying to go with a different mindset this year like I said I need to chill more in here I want to do more fun things and I want to do more things without thinking I feel like chilling more here goes hand in hand with doing more things without thinking I always stop myself doing things before I actually do them so right now for example I'm looking at getting getting a new job and instead of just applying for every single job I can think of I'll look at the job post and I'll think about it and I'll just oh, could I do this job oh, just apply they might not even get back to you just apply <laughs> you know that's what I mean do more things without thinking you can always just think a little bit later That was just an example, but I do that with basically everything in life. I have a very complicated relationship with my brain. I still have my goals from last year and I think they are good focus points, but instead of focusing on the actual goals that I've set, I'm going to try and focus on just doing things and trying to appreciate those things in the moment. My main goals are always YouTube acting and my personal betterment so instead of looking forward to the goal of getting a thousand subscribers i want to try and celebrate and be happy about the fact that i posted this week and that i got 10 subscribers during vlogmas because those things are moving towards my main goal which is successful in my youtube and same with personal goal instead of my goals being like be healthy you need to run three times a week i should be happy that i ran once this week because that also goes towards my main goal of being better if of myself <laughs> I don't know I still haven't quite formed this out in my head where I'm going with this I'm sorry if this video seems messy as well I'm still figuring this video out but once again instead of just thinking about it I'm gonna chill and just do it without thinking and I actually think that's gonna go really well together with this whole recap thing that we just figured out because us doing those quarterly check-ins and recapping what we did those past few months I think is going to give me an appreciation of what I actually did towards my goals. Let's live more in the moment than in the future. Okay? Okay. 
every year around the new year I always get this burst of motivation to just elevate my life. Every year I buy a new planner and I start writing down goals and resolutions and then two months later the goals and resolutions I don't remember them. The planner is in a drawer somewhere getting dusty. I see so many videos of people who seem to have their lives all together. They use their planners, they write goals and they are achieving them and they're happy with that. I seem to just not be that so I'm gonna do this this year. I know everything in life is trial and error but let's not keep redoing the errors okay so I did not buy a planner this year here's what I'm actually doing this year that has worked for me in the past and that I'm gonna keep doing it's two things um, let me just get them one is this one and one is this one there's not too much to say about this the first thing that I can use this year to actually kind of keep me going in the direction of my three main goals is this calendar. This is a calendar that I share with Jesse, my boyfriend. I see this calendar every day. We hang it up on the kitchen cupboard. What else is there to say really about a calendar, you know? But this is my third or fourth year actually having a big hanging calendar. The first time I bought it, I thought it was ridiculous. I just thought it was just like, why would you need a big calendar? I always bought the planner, you know, and thought that the planner was gonna work for me. It didn't work for me. And then one year I just bought a calendar so that I could literally see when Jesse was going on his business trips and when our appointments and stuff like that. Ever since then, I have not turned back. These are great, okay? Having a big calendar in a place you can see it every day, it's kind of like having a vision board. I've had a vision board one time in my life and that was also something that actually worked for me to keep focusing on where I wanted to go. I could do a vision board this year as well, but I just don't like the look of vision boards. They're inspirational, but they're quite ugly to keep in a place where your eye can see it all the time. Like imagine if I just had my vision board up on the you know, I think vision boards work and I think they can be really fun to do, but um, I think they're ugly to have on the wall when you live in a studio apartment. Anyway, calendars, yes. Like I said, I can see appointments, holidays, Jesse's business trips. I can even write down birthdays so that I can try and actually congratulate people on their birthdays try being the keyword i still fail miserably but that's that's on me one new addition this year that i'm doing is i have actually written down in march the first quarterly check-in this was going to be for my own personal sake but yeah i think i'm going to make a quarterly check-in video with recaps I know I've mentioned it like four times now. These quarterly check-ins are just for me to reflect on uh, where the year seems to be heading. What have I done good? What could I do better? What would I like to do? Take some time to think about those things and film a video about the quarterly check-in and recap. My battery is flashing now, so I think I'm gonna just change that. But we are almost done, I promise. Let me just change the battery. I hope that's where it was. This tea is so cold now. What was I saying? I was saying calendar is great. You see it every day and you can write down things to remember. I have written down the quarterly check-ins and I'm hopeful that that will keep me more on track this year, but we'll see. The second thing, the last thing that I'm bringing with me into this year is this little notebook. This is something I randomly started using last year. It's so silly, but it somehow works. So I use this for to-do lists. I used to write my to-do lists on normal size notebooks. These notebooks usually just write my to-do lists here. I would not do them. <laughs> I don't know. Then one day I had randomly taken this out of a drawer because I was like, why do I still have this? I'm not a waitress anymore. I'm going to probably throw it away. But I put it on the table and then I had one of those days where everything is just spinning in your head and you're like, oh my God, I have so much to do. I just grabbed this and I started writing my to-do list and I just started ticking it off. 
I know, like you're thinking, but it's just paper and a to-do list. Writing them here, oh my God, it fills out almost the whole page. That's a lot of things you need to do. Writing eight tasks on this would fill out that much space. Feels like you're not doing enough. Feels like those things can wait. <laughs> It's so silly, but um, I highly recommend it. If you like to write to-do lists, but you struggle to actually get the things done, or you feel bad because you didn't fill out as many things as you thought you needed to, try it. I dare you, and let me know. Come back to this video and tell me. Tell me how it worked. I think I've been filming for too long now because I am going a little bit Coco logo. <laughs> what you can look forward to from my YouTube videos this year, Jesse and I are hopefully going to be doing a little bit more traveling. I'm hoping to actually do travel vlogs this year. I have filmed every time we travel, I just haven't posted it. I think the next video I'm doing is going to be some kind of organizing video because I don't know how it builds up, but I need to organize the wardrobe again and the kitchen and the bathroom and I, I'm organizing videos, some cleaning videos, some travel videos, and some vlogs. I think the motto that I have for myself that I just made up in this video is actually quite realistic. I hope that's going to reflect in my videos as well. I want to just film, not think too much about it. I want to try new things. You know, I want to just do more things without thinking, chill more, just do more fun things. And also, you can expect the quarterly check-in and recap videos. Don't know if I mentioned that any time during this, this video. I, I think that's enough. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I guess that was a sign to stop. My vocal cords have obviously had enough. Again, it's just like that time where I coughed in the concierge lady's face. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you're aiming for this year and subscribe to see what else I get up to. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week on Sundays. I think I'm gonna do a video every Sunday, hopefully. If I don't post a video, then I'm sorry. That's probably because of my brain. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.